Oh, goody. All right, what's going on, everybody? Zombies here again, and today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So I was actually recording a short little video on my thoughts on the spotlight caches, and like midway through doing that, we actually got some news about an improvements being made to them. So scrap all that. Uh, we're do doing it from the beginning, and uh, we're going to talk about the change here and what I think about it. So. Uh, they posted this on the official second dinner uh, for Marvel Snap Discord, and uh, they were basically saying, hey, we've been hearing feedback and we're ready to implement a bit of a change, or, well, they're announcing it, implementation coming relatively soon, uh, but our highest priority by far is the random Series 4 and 5 duplicate fallback. We're going to start with a tuning change that, could quickly, that we could quickly get into our next patch. We also have some future UI work planned and minor improvements to the surrounding systems that contribute to card acquisition. We'll be continuing to monitor, listen, actively make changes to card acquisition until it's in a great place. Spotlight cache tuning change coming in the next patch. Random Series 4 and 5 duplicate fallback reward is being changed from a premium mystery variant, which was pretty much universally agreed to be garbage, uh, to a thousand tokens. Game development is an iterative process. Please keep sharing thoughts and feedback, yada yada. Okay, uh, this is a good change. The random variant thing was bad. It was like really, really, really bad. Uh, I liked how Educated Collins put it, uh, where it was the, the danger room spotlight caches where you had a 25% chance just to get screwed, um, depending on how many, you know, series four and five cards you had and how lucky you were not getting a duplicate or not. Uh, but yeah. So this is a good change. Uh, this always should have been tokens from the start. It's nice to see them change it. Will a thousand be the right number? I don't know. Uh, a thousand, you know, it's a third of a pool four card. It's uh, a, a sixth of a pool five card. Or if you're still in pool three, it's one free gamble, right? On a pool three card. Uh, so is this going to be the, the perfect number? I don't know. Again, we'll have to experience it. See what it feels like for the majority of the player base. Uh, like, yeah, uh, only time will tell. Uh, this is coming next patch though so don't be surprised if you are opening stuff up and you still get the variant before the patch uh, in fact this may encourage you to hoard up i think a lot of the releases coming out between uh, now and whenever the next patch is are kind of mediocre anyway i think uh, if you value powerful cards you probably want to be saving for later in august and especially in september looking at the data mines we've seen uh, so what this tells me is Unless you really, really want at least two out of three or three out of three of the spotlight cards in one of these upcoming weeks, you should be saving. Because then you don't have a high likelihood of getting screwed uh, by getting a variant in place of a thousand tokens. A thousand tokens is infinitely more useful than a variant that you might not ever use anyway. Uh, so this is good. Uh, I'll throw in some additional thoughts about the system here because, I mean, I was going to do another video on it, but we'll throw it all together here. Uh, I do think the spotlight caches are like all right. I do think it's neat to be able to actually open cards you want and be able to uh, kind of pick your week, get the stuff you want that week. Uh, it is unavoidably, it is a gotcha. The, I mean, it's not the most offensive gotcha. It's not anywhere near as bad as it was in beta, uh, but I don't think anyone can say with a straight face, this is not a gotcha. It is a gotcha. Uh, this is like textbook gotcha banner. Um, it's felt okay to me. I think the real stress test of this system, uh, aside from obviously the feel bads of the thing that they're changing, I think everyone agrees that felt bad. It's good that they're changing it. I didn't really expect them to change it that quickly. Um, I thought they'd take longer. Uh, but I do think one of the, the true tests of this will be not this month, because there are a lot of cards people don't care as much about this month. I think the real test will be like August, September, when there are a lot more cards people want how people go about choosing that one week or if they decide to gamble and see what the results of that are. Uh, yeah, uh, so I think, again, time will tell on this one. I don't think the, the system has been fully brought to the stress test it really needs because a lot of the cards this month are kind of underwhelming aside from I think Jean Grey being the best one. The other ones are a little mediocre. Um, so not not quite as enticing to open your boxes, but that's kind of good because you can save your boxes and actually have them for when the more impactful cards are coming. Uh, so yeah, uh, kind of mid overall, I think. Um, I, I do think there are pros to the system. I do think there are some cons to it, especially for casual players who are probably just ripping them as they get them. This will make things a little bit better for those casual players. Uh, is it enough for it to be positively received? 
Only time will tell. I will note one thing. Uh, I have noticed a insane uptick in both Steam reviews and App Store reviews that are overwhelmingly negative since this update. Uh, I think a lot of people have been upset about the new system, whether that's because they understand it and don't like it, or just don't really understand it and don't like it. I don't think it really matters. The underlying point is that a lot of people are not liking it, and they really, really need to course correct quickly to change that because I think nothing drives people away from a game faster than when they feel like, hey, this update said it was going to be great and my experience is not feeling great. The thousand tokens is a step in the right direction. I don't think it's the only step they need. Uh, I do think another really, really big one is that the regular uh, collector's reserves feel really bad still, especially when you're pool three complete. I've stopped opening mine entirely. 50 tokens is a joke. It's not fun. It's not enjoyable. I'm not opening them. It's pretty much that simple. Uh, I hope they can adjust that in the future. It doesn't even have to be a lot. I'd settle for 100 at this point. Uh, 50 is just, it's just a bridge too far. Uh, it's too much. Feels too bad not opening them. Um, yeah, so those are my thoughts. I'd like to hear what you think in the comments below. Uh, what do you think about this change? What are other changes you'd like to see? Obviously, I think in a perfect world, duplicate protection and being enabled would fix all of this. But unfortunately, as they previously answered, I, I don't really think they're likely to actually do that in spite of how much we would all like it. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.